How's it going, everyone? Byron here with Riders Domain. We've got Mike in the studio today, and Mike's wearing the new Alpine Stars Revenant jacket. So the Revenant has substantial ventilation available. You've got ventilation intakes up here on the upper chest. You've got some down here lower on the stomach. You've got some on the upper arm, as well as down here uh, on the forearm as well. All of these vents also have taped seams, so they're gonna stay nice and tight against the water if you find yourself out in the rain. You get two chest pockets. Uh, these are both flap closed and they're held in place with Velcro. These don't have zippers, whereas the uh, hip pockets do come with waterproof zippers. You're also gonna see uh, little pull tabs here. That's just gonna make it easier for when you're grabbing at it, trying to open it uh, in, in the rain. There's a soft edge collar as well. It's held in place by Velcro when closed, but you can also open it up. There's a little hook and loop system that'll keep it in place here. I'll help Mike out a little bit with that. That way, if you need a little bit more space to breathe, your collar won't be flopping around in the wind when you're riding down the road. You get some fit adjustment options as well. Uh, one is down here on the bottom of the sleeve. Uh, you can open the cuff up with this zipper here. If you're putting gloves on, you need a little bit extra room. And then this Velcro tab here, it's gonna allow you to tighten up or loosen the cuff as you need. And then as you move up the arm, you'll see there's some more fit adjustment. On the forearm, you get three button snaps. And then up on the bicep, you get a pull strap to loosen or tighten as you need. Another item that's going to allow you to tailor the fit to your body is this waist strap down here. Same as on the bicep, it's just a pull strap so you can tighten or loosen. Uh, make sure that this is going to be really comfortable for you. Another highlight feature of the Revenant jacket is the GP light protection on the shoulders. Now this is a TPU guard that's on the exterior but it's situated underneath the outer layer of fabric. While we have Mike over here, we'll also take a look at the elbow here. It's got some Armacore reinforcements for added abrasion resistance. And we're gonna take a look at the back, Mike, if you don't mind turning around. You've got this big compartment here. It's, a, it's for a bladder system. You can route the hose up through this top part. You also get uh, exhaust vents on either side. These also have taped seams, make sure stays nice and waterproof and then down here at the base is a utility pocket now you can leave this on open up the flap here store your stuff there's also a zipper that allows you to detach this it comes with a strap as well so you can wear it if you need a you know a pocket to carry with you off the bike you also get accordion flex zones on either side of the shoulders here to aid in flexibility Mike's wearing a 2XL, that's his typical size. Now this is a little bit of an attack fit. Uh, it's a little bit snug, but sleeve length is great. The armor is right where it needs to be. And as a Tech Air compatible garment, you know, there's still plenty of room in there to fit the airbag vest if you wanted to upgrade to that. So if you're looking to get a Revenant jacket, go for your normal size and you're gonna be dialed. So if you open the Revenant jacket up, you're gonna see a waterproof pocket here. Now this has got the taped seam, and it's gonna be great for storing electronics, your cell phone, things like that when you're out on the road and it's raining outside. You get padding in the chest compartments. Uh, this is a, an upgradable piece. If you wanna go with Alpine Star's Nucleon protectors, you can go ahead and get those for some added impact protection. There's a mesh lining inside, this is fixed. You don't get the removable insulated thermal liners as you do with some other jackets that are made for adventure touring. In addition to the waterproof pocket inside, you also get two cargo pockets down here in the mesh. They're held together with little Velcro tabs. Uh, these aren't gonna be waterproof though, so you aren't gonna wanna put anything in there that uh, could be damaged if it gets wet. At the base of the jacket, you get this nice long zipper for attachment to corresponding pants as well. You also get a foam back pad standard with the Revenant. The compartment that holds this will accept Alpine Star's Nucleon back protector upgrade as well. But if you wanna go for maximum protection, you're gonna upgrade to the Tech Air airbag vest. The Revenant is Tech Air compatible, uh, meaning you just plug the vest into these ports here install the vest, and you're gonna have an airbag system to protect your torso, as well as a CE Level 2 back protector. For impact protection, you get Alpine Star's CE Level 2 
uh, bio air inserts for the shoulder and elbow. So we want to thank Mike for coming in and wearing the jacket with us today. And if you want to know anything more about the Alpine Stars Revenant, follow the link in the description. And be sure to subscribe to Riders Domain for more product spotlights and motorcycle reviews.